a pretty grim article. Uh, it, it touches close to, to my heart, and uh, I really feel for these guys. I was mentioning to you off the air that I, I actually found an earlier version of this article. This is from policeone.com, um, and this is involving the number of uh, t- uh, corona cases for the NYPD. Uh, when I first was preparing for this a couple days ago, the number was at 300. As you can see here, uh, NYPD, 730 uniformed members test positive for COVID-19, up 300 from last week. The number of NYPD employees infected by the coronavirus expected to reach 900 by Tuesday morning. This is devastating. This is this is terrible because what people don't understand is that these are first res- people are in the community, and that means that they're, they've spread it. They've spread it all over the place because the police officers can't go home. You know what I mean? They, they can't, uh, you know, they, 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 once they get sick, they send them home, okay? Once they've tested positive, they send them home. But the, the point is that I'm sure a lot of these uh, employees were working uh, while they were infected, while they were infected. And, and I brought this up to some of my former colleagues uh, before this started, and uh, it, you know, it fell on deaf ears. And I, and I hope at least in Arizona, that they're, they're gonna start learning from this and realize that uh, police officers and first responders, um, by the way, I say also uh, supermarket workers, they need PPE, they need masks, they need to wear gloves all the time with any public contact. It, it is a disgrace. The fact that we are we are following this false narrative that PPE does not help. If you don't think it helps, why is China doing it? Why is South Korea doing it? Why is Singapore doing it? Why is Japan doing it? And why are, is their situation in much better control than our situation? This is a lie that PPE does not help and, and shouldn't be in general use. And the, and the idea that first responders shouldn't be having it is the stupidest thing in the world. And I really feel like our medical community has let us down because they are allowing this and they are perpetuating this myth that general use of PPE is not going to help you. And we see the results. These officers are in the community. They are on the street. And guess what? They have spread it all over the place. Anywhere that they may, they had contact with anybody, they've spread it. And I, I again, I tried to bring this up with former colleagues of mine and it fell on deaf ears. I told them we cannot have people come in sick. In the public safety culture, we work sick. We work sick all the time. It's just part of the culture because we're public safety people are tough, they're strong, and they want to help and they want to get out there. And you can't do that in this environment. You can't. Uh, and just a, a couple more of the numbers here. Uh, it said that the NYPD has said, 4,651 uniform members of the NYPD were on sick report Sunday. That means they stayed home, which accounts for 12.8% of the department's uniformed workforce. Over 10% of their workforce is out sick right now. And by the way, that's good on them that they called in sick and didn't go to work. I actually commend them for that because, again, they are not equipped with PPE to keep from getting other people sick. And that's what I'm kind of infuriated about. Uh, and I think it's going to tie in also to our one of our main segments later on about this issue of people that are in critical positions and are working and do have contact with the public and the lack of PPE. And, um, you know, I just I just feel like shame on our on the Western on the, the entire Western mut- uh, medical community from Europe, the United States to Canada. Shame on them, because every Asian doctor basically will tell you. Absolutely, the general public, first responders should be wearing PPE. They should be wearing masks if they're having contact with the public. Period. Period. And uh, this is this is just this is just stag- a staggering number. Uh, you know, the New York Police Department is the largest police department in the United States. It's one of the largest in the world. And these numbers, in any other department, I mean, would would there would be hardly there would be no. I mean, the fourth. 4,651 officers, that's more than the entire police force of Phoenix PD. That's more than their entire police force. That means every single cop is gone. Put, put that in some perspective. Right. A, a major city like Phoenix, that's, oh, their entire police force is gone at home sick. So, and, that's, it's, and it's because of short-sightedness and because of all this stockpiling of PPE, 
strictly for quote unquote medical people, it's insanity. It's absolute insanity. I couldn't agree more. And I know you're very passionate about it as a a former police officer. Right now, we have had this big lie that masks don't work. And they say, well, because the particulates can get through even an N95 mask. And you said that in the, you know, very early in this podcast, um, several weeks ago, you said, yeah, sure, particulates can get through. But you never said that masks do nothing. And the idea that because a mask isn't perfect, that you shouldn't use it is just endangering people unnecessarily. It is reckless, and it has, uh, to a large degree, I believe, destroyed the confidence that many people have in our medical authorities, because you have people who are medical professionals, who are health officials, who are lying to us, because, as you said, they're trying to stockpile these masks purely for medical personnel, instead of saying, we need to start producing a lot more masks, and we need to do it now. Instead of and, the, saying- and, the, and the irony is, you know, of course, I understand the reason for the stockpile because we don't have enough. I do understand that. I, I do understand the, the, the practical aspect of this. But what they're doing is, is they're creating a, self, a self-fulfilling prophecy because they're hoarding all this PPE and they're not making it available to anybody else. You know, you know I make this point, you know, I, I, I'm not... I am not trying to tell any doctor out there or nurse, I don't appreciate you. I absolutely appreciate you. I absolutely appreciate you, okay? But they were not the people that took the first hit. The people who took the first hit were the people working in stores. You know what I mean? The, the, the people that are, are involved in our food supply. You go to your local grocery, I, I can guarantee you in most areas, the only thing they might have is gloves. And these people should have masks and gloves. Cashiers get right in your face. You know what I mean? They're they're right up to your face when you're paying and stuff like that. And these people are working without uh, any any PPE. It, it, it's a disgrace. It really is. It, it is not right. And and I and there are rumors the CDC is going to come out within within a two weeks to ten days that kind of time frame. There are rumors they're going to come out and tell everybody, yeah, we recommend masks for everybody, and that everybody's going to know. They're a bunch of liars, and the, the confidence in the CDC and all of our medical professionals is going to be in the toilet, in the toilet. Because they lied. Instead of They're, explaining the situation, they lied. Everybody should mask up now. I mean, that's the reality. I know. If, if, you, are, were, if you were involved with public content, if you are in a, 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 a quote-unquote critical you know, a critical job where you have to be in a job, you ha- and you can't telecommute, you have to have contact with the public, you should be wearing a mask at the least and probably a mask and gloves, period. Yeah. 